The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting for Steve Rhodes. Oh, of course, I cannot do his show. Only Steve can do mastering property. Let me just see. 32,280, 32,000. Uh, 360. Okay. So I, I just wanted to do, uh, so I wanted to use this hour to take the hour because I had a lot of requests. I know Steve loves to take requests. This is the way he's on vacation right now. Uh, Steve loves, so I I'll, I said I will take requests. I got a quick request coming in just as I was about to wrap up the show. I wanted to do a couple of things. I, I wanted to show you, first of all, Bitcoin. I haven't done anything with Bitcoin oh, for a long time for subscribers. We once had just an absolutely fantastic, we got that huge, huge move that went all the way to the 2021 high. Then I think we were out for the next move up, but we had huge gains from the 12s in the Bitcoin trust all the way to, well, I think it went up to 50 something, but now we're out. So I'm looking at this now, and then in the den, the reason why I thought I'd do it is that a social missionary in the den says, uh, people are not going to ATM uh, machines much, so we don't see the lines. Digital currency is the future of the world. Let's go Bitcoin, BTC, to 50K soon. So, and then uh, it goes on to say Bitcoin to 50K, Senate meeting, Gary, Gensler will do it. Let's go crypto market. <laughs> so one man band there, good. Oh, he or she. Uh, now, what I'm looking at here is, I don't disagree with the concepts and whatever's being said. What I do disagree with is that a lot of these things take time. You remember back uh, back when I started uh, in uh, TFNN back in 2022, then 2023, I started my newsletter, the opening call. Um, I said very soon after that, I think it was like about a year or two later at the Boston Auto Show, I was with a good friend of mine, uh, who, when he saw the Prius, he said, that's the future. There's, I mean, forget about those oil guys just ripping us off. Oil's done and battery, another 15 years, it'll all be over. Everyone will be driving. And I said, no, 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 not true. Any, any medium that changes takes about 50 years, no matter how speeded up it is, but it takes decades before the infrastructure is such that your lowest common denominator, that is the lay person, is able to turn the key, press the button, and do it, whatever it is. And that includes the computers. Remember, 1980s was really the start of the public being aware with the Apple computer. I remember having this little box. Um, and that, that's sort of the change. So where are we now? We are 50 years later. We're now 50, we're getting to 50 years later. And now it's ubiquitous. Uh, and as I said for a long time, the oil of the 1900s are the chips of the 21st century. That's the new oil. So these things take a long time. So the whole thing with Bitcoin, forget about next year or the year or the next decade. Yes, over a period of time, going into the 2030s, and I'll talk about the fourth turning at some point, um, a, br a brilliant book, but just too much. When you're overwhelmed, I mean, every single line is, is, is to data proof. But that doesn't miss the main point because there are only two things that you need to think of when you're thinking of major trends. It's ascetic, that is sparsity, going to excessivity, going to an overabundance, not just an overabundance, but a huge overabundance of the overabundance, like in 2000, like in housing market back in 2007 and eight. Um, that, you know, the, the, it takes a long time. So, yes, I don't disagree, but the process is going to take a long time. So the low that was made uh, back in, let me look at the chart right here, back in November of, at 15,000, let's call it 16,000, back in November of 2022, 
We'll see that if that is the next major low for the next big move up, even if it goes choppy for even another month or two or three before it. So I do see it breaking out, and I do see it getting to the 38,000, 42,000 area. When is the question? I'm now starting to monitor it for the first time in a long time because I think we're getting close. And that puts me into the category that says gold is something different. And I've tried to articulate this. Maybe I haven't made myself clear, but... To my mind, and this is I'm originally from South Africa, so gold is kind of part of the vernacular that I grew up with, um, gold mines, diamond mines, that sort of thing. Um, so uh, as I see it, gold is a currency of fear for countries. When they see that our financial, like the XLF, our financial index is really starting to smash to the downside, which it's not, it's just kind of, Ho humming, it's in a sideways consolidation phase using the 200 period moving average of uh, 34 as a kind of a key support. If and when it does break under 30 and goes to the 29s, then we have to stalk. Then I think gold is going to go really sharply if that happens. So gold has its own uh, momentum, it has its own cycles. And I think it's just not in the cycle at this particular point. And therefore, it turns out that the dollar acting as strongly as it is right now, um, I'm not right now meeting in this July rally into this early part of September. If you look at it historically, looking back a year ago, uh, towards the end of 2023, we were here. We we're right now at 104. We were at 100 on the week of the 2nd of December 2022. We were trading between 107 and 104. Remember, I did the same thing when I showed you the long-term TLT. Don't get too excited about yields until yields really start to break out to the upside because we've been here before. It's all the other conditions. So what I'm saying is, yes, to, uh, to Bitcoin, timing is of the essence. But I don't disagree with the statement, and that really was my point. Now, the next point that I wanted to look at was, um, I had a question, GTBIF, GTBIF, and that goes together with that funny stock that I was looking at before that I hadn't heard of. So, look, GBTIF has exactly the same thing. Uh, it's trading right now. Let me go from the low bar in the Chapman Wave methodology. We put an up arrow. I can do that because I can really see that it's been a buy signal to a buy mode in price. That's A. Yep, that's A. Next peak is B. Next peak is C. Next peak is D. And the next peak is E. And here we are. We're in leg E, pulling back a little bit. G -T -B, uh, G -T -B -I -F is uh, Green Thumbs Industries. I remember seeing the stock a long time ago, and I thought, ah, oh, cute little name, Green Thumbs. All right. So this is obviously in the cannabis area and um, trading very nicely. The, nine, the price is way over the nine. Nine is way over the 14 in the daily chart. Both of them are, all three things are way above the 200 period moving average of 8.65. Nankies goes to Catholics flat at 86%. On balance one is a little bit overbought and that's why you've got a little bit of a pullback here. The weekly chart is in leg A. <laughs> Just a huge single leg A. I'll come back and we'll do a little bit more work on this particular stock at uh, GB, GTBIF is a symbol. Basil Chapman, Tiger News is out. Dow's only down 32 now, but S&P's down 20. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, so let me just show you this. Here's the one-minute chart on Oracle. There were some four five people had like uh, short positions going into the open, and then I think some of them switched to the long side. So it's trading at 111.73, but look, it made that low at about 10, 12 this morning. That's the time, Eastern time. We're into peak ABC. In the chat wave, you want to go from a buy signal, upgrade to a buy mode. It goes to a buy mode, says it should go to a D, goes to a D within three bars, actually two bars. It has a new high, so that becomes an alternate count because it's got an instant restart. Chapman wave instant restart, the only technique you'll ever find that has this particular technique, something I've discovered back in the late 1970s, early 80s. And here we go, E slash A, F slash B, G slash C. G gives you a big, biggest pullback. You get all the technical signs to slide. It does pull back. And then it goes, gray A, the new high gets that alternate count. Either it's a B, but I always am cautious. I call it a D, a continuation pattern, D slash B, E slash C. But this particular pattern with the big cup and then a, a stretched out, sideways move that retests the break breaks to the to the upside says that there's a really good chance that this should go to a d and as we're speaking i'm not sure if it's going to be i'll get ready to put in a d maybe it does maybe it doesn't but it's trying to go to e e c e slash c or c1 and a c2 this is the one that's really important in the one minute chart but if you look at the 10 minute chart you're saying what are you thinking here this is just a horrible move to the downside. No, that pink nine period moving average of 112.64 will become a magnet in time, if not even in price, because it could go sideways. All right, let's get back to our story. We're looking at this stock um, that's called GTBIF, which is Green Thumb uh, and its uh, industries. <clears throat> so this is a leg E. And it should pull back a little bit, but all the technicals are strong. I go to the weekly chart and say, okay, just on that weekly chart, look, it broke above this ugly candle, the very ugly candle that made a high of 15 of 16.50 back in the week of the 9th of December 2022, had a low of 16.50 high, 
and a low of 10.92, cut in, in 50%. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a big move down. So then it continues lower. So this high was taken out both uh, all week. It's been taken out all week. It's two days, one and a half days. For the last five days, it's been taken out 11.35. Today's high is 11.85. So we're now into this ugly candle of December of 2022. This is going to take more time. The big thing is how does it handle halfway into this big red candle, ugly candle, 1380. If at any point in the in September, I mean, it's a weekly chart, so I'll give it all of September. If at any point in September, if it actually does trade um, to the 13, anyway, 1360, 1380 area, not only will be that really positive, but it'll start to improve not just the weekly chart, which is starting to improve already, but that monthly chart has already got the MACD crossing positive. So that's all of these stocks are going to be doing the same. It's the CCGC. Yep, there it's the same thing. They all did the same thing. Now I think the news is that very often these things get carried away to the upside, huge after being just decimated. They take out weeks and weeks and weeks of sideways action. Look what it did over here. Look at this sharply down into July of 2022 and then all of a sudden peak A, peak B, peak C and D and then it pulls back again and goes down, 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 down. So this is the story of, of this whole sector, of the cannabis sector. At some point it's going to work but it could take a lot of time. So I wanted to get to that. Next question is um, P PLTR, that's Palantir Industries, trading right now at 15.60, up uh, down 19 cents. Let's go backwards. The weekly, the monthly chart had all the technicals improve and it went from 45 round number high back in January of 2021 to a low of $5.27. Uh, I, I think it was December or, or November of this past year. Now it's gone peak A, peak B, pulling back quite sharply at a peak F in the weekly chart, still with the nine holding very well above the 14. MACD's weeks, stochastics weeks, on balance volume is very good. So that just says it's internal strength. I don't think it's the strength that's going to take it back to the 20s. But at 1564, uh, the daily chart says holding pretty well, there's a chance it could make one pop into the uh, 1636 or higher area. That'll start leg C. But most importantly, it's this ugly candle of the 9th of August where the high is 1692, the low is 1510. And uh, it's already been halfway into that candle, but today it's stuck at the the high level was 1615. I'm just going to say that if this if this yeah this rally, first of all, let's see if the rally can go to 1636. That'll start a leg C. Then what I would say to you is that the nine or period moving average is going to cross nicely positive. The MACD is improving. Stochastic is still very weak, but it it tells you that it's making higher highs and higher lows and that the chance to make the arch formation fail because it's got internal strength. That means, and now you've got an L for the day, meaning that the 9 period moving average on a daily chart is attempting to close the day with an L. If it fails because this slips to the 1550 area or lower today, it says watch out because there are three fighting patterns. One is just sideways. And that's really kind of what I'm looking at here, sideways. And it can do this and stay in this pattern for a little while longer, basically a rectangle. Number two is it's going to fail. And if it fails, it'll take out the 14 uh, support level really quickly. It's not doing it over the last couple of days, which says there's some, some internal strength there. So if it does it, it means that's really weak. And that's going to impact the monthly chart to give you a dreaded H. You don't want to see that here. Uh, the next question is, on the upside, what would be the breakout? And the breakout would be if I'll give it the whole week. The rest of the week is only Tuesday, and it's not even an hour, two hours into the day. So I'm giving it all the way to Friday at 4 o'clock. If on Friday at 4 o'clock, this is not closed, but it's pierced intra-week, 16.50. I don't care where it closes, but if it gets to the 16.50 level, that's going to be impressive. My thinking right now is it's just stuck in a range. Stuck is is a is a is a trend. A sideways trend is stuck. 
and I think it's stuck. Next question. Next question is, what what happened here? Look, SJM. This is Smuckers down a dollar thirty nine at one thirty point twenty eight. It's down only one percent today, uh, but it took a dive yesterday, huge dive from one thirty nine down to the mid one thirties. Um, isn't that interesting? Oh, I used to have this all notated. Uh, this is PA and that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, uh, Smuckers. It, it made an all-time high in January this year of 163, was it? 161. 161.07. And now it's trading 30 points, 37 points lower. Than, no, 30 points lower than that. Um, and if you look at this and look what happened, TR. Funny, I've never been a Tootsie Roll fan. I've never, ever, I don't know what it is, just nothing. All right, 30.20, I am smuck as jams. Uh, 30.21, down 59 cents, lower lows and lower highs. This is in the category of um, XL, XL, P. Look, this is Select Consumer Staples Spider Fun. Monthly doesn't look too bad, but really, this is not doing very well. Dow's down 16. Not bad action. Wow. S&P's down 20. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. As we were at the break, I was drawing in the target using the same Chapman Wave technique, left side, right side, price, time matches, bar, symmetry, Chapman Wave inside, 
track repellent dash green repellent target line uh, and that said that by um, 11:35 this morning we should test the left side high of 10:40 of 10:48 this morning which is at 45:2300 here we are at 45:22 and a couple of minutes early we'll see if it does that so a couple of things that we're looking at. Uh, so I had that Oracle, remember, O-R-C-L, and I did this chart. Did I mess up? No, I didn't. So look, A, I said use an alternate count, D slash B, E slash C, and that should go to a D, and there it is. We're in a D, Oracle, right now, touching what? The, 200, the, the pink nine-period moving average in the 10-minute chart. Right, 120, 112, I think I said 32 or something. Today, so far, it's 113.30. This is a stock that was down at 109.30. So three-point gain is uh, very nice after a massive drop yesterday. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, I thought I'd do some of these things live. Oh, mistake right there. I always put a plus sign on the D, above a D and an E. And all right, enough with that. Let's just go ECU23. Oh, ECUZ23. Got to get used to that. Up, oh, and there we are. 450, 445.22, uh, 75 right now. So we're right there at that left side high in this price, uh, left side, right side price time match. Did I miss that? Oh, I didn't do it correctly right there. So it's done it to the minute. Right there. That was, that was, no, it's a minute early. That was my plumb line right there. Plumb line meaning the number of bars on the left side to the down move low to the number of bars on the right side back to that left side lip was exactly, and it's a C, and now it's called a Chapman wave. Oh, uh, sorry, a Chapman wave. There we go, cup and ladle pattern, which says it should go to at least a D. And here it is at C because it's over the left side lip. Interesting, huh? All right, so let's just get back to our story. So, oh yeah, someone's in the den. Was it? Was that? Um, was that Duffy who said CCJ? Yeah, CCJ. Oh, just before I forget, this XLP is the Select uh, S&P Consumer Staples Spider. This is where markets usually prices usually rally here because this is where people go when they get very nervous about the market. They go to the Staples area. But wow, it hasn't worked that way uh, for August into September. It's on its way down, isn't it? That's why the reason we were looking at the, the Smuckers and the Tootsie Roll, TR. Uh, so the question came up with the CCJ. So this is, oops, CCJ. This is the Chemico Core Uranium Fuel, all-time high as we speak, uh, leg, F in the weekly with a, ch a chance, oh my goodness, with a chance of an old inside, look at that, peak D, instant restart, wow, F slash B right here in the weekly chart, all the technicals are really strong, I wonder what's going on, uranium soaring, and we've got a new all-time high at 38.40, um, and that's the reason why I said for I, I like to, if I can find, I, I looked at this when I chose the uranium stock because I said they're both moving in the same direction. I like that. If I can get the pilot light, the little, what, what do you call those things, like a little pilot fish that, that swims underneath the shark or whatever it is, if I can not take the big one, but I can take a comparable one as a proxy I can get a way bigger percentage gain for my subscribers. And that's the reason why CCJ is the, is the leader. And that's what I've been talking to subscribers about, that we want to try to find for this next move up. We want to try to find leaders because they're the ones that are making new highs. And even if it's an ETF, if it's leading, it means that the group itself is moving very well. You don't have to choose individual ones. So CCJ kind of fits that category to a certain extent. But... So the UEC, which is what we have up now 13 cents at 4.96, um, that look has this cup and ladle breakout pattern in the weekly chart. So it kind of confirms what we're looking at here. 
that for some reason the uranium sector is really doing well. Let's just see lit, Lithuania, Lithuania, lithium, uh, global X lithium and battery tech. The monthly looks terrible, weekly looks terrible, and the daily looks terrible. But LAC was one that I, um, I looked at this morning and I decided just for, to forego it because we had other plans. Um, that is coming off this uh, this Chapman Wave Inside Track bottoming process in the weekly chart. The Inside Track propellant zone had a real nice move up to the trend line resistance. And it's in leg C, but it's giving back some of the game, but it's still up 11 sets in 1924. So lithium America. So each one in its, it has something different. So another question came in. Let me just see if I can find it. Um, uh, Basil, could you look at the GDX uh, in relation to gold? Well, then look, the GDX has, has a nice move up. It's 18 cents up at 28.95. Gold itself is down 12 bucks. So I've said for a little while that the normalcy that we have seen between all the different indicators, the different sectors, the rotation, the mirror image between gold rallying and dollar falling or dollar falling, uh, dollar rallying and gold falling, to the percentages that you would normally expect, hardly anything has been normal. It's just been very unusual. Everything, even the VIX index. Look, today, the VIX index is up 19 cents at 13.99. The Dow is now up 21, but the S&P is down quite sharply. The QQQs are, are not all, acting all that well. So we, the normal C is not here, and it's an abnormal market, and you have to try your very best to, to think in a different way. So I did volunteer. I did that. Did that, did that, did that, did that. Question came in about, oh, was it going? Oh. Um, P, can you speak of the peak C in the monthly chart of the S&P? Let's just first of all go to the SPY. A lot of people have SPY. It's not always easy for some of them to get the uh, index itself. So the SPY is fine. SPY is down $1.50 at 446.19. Let's go to 447. So the daily chart has had a series of lower lows and lower highs, and now it's made higher highs and higher lows. This particular level that stopped at the 50-period moving average has the 9-period moving average over the 14 in the daily chart. And that still says internal support is there. The weekly chart looks absolutely fabulous. Yes, it's pulled back in time because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's seven weeks. It's almost two months since the high that was made back in the week of the 28th of July, 459.54. And look at this uh, monthly chart, that peak C, all the technicals in this little picture right here are very positive. When you go down, you say the MACD is good, but it's not as good as it was previously. And the stochastic is really good at 91%. So I will talk about it when I get back. Uh, it's a good question. I'll You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 
45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, 16 made a peak T. Left side, right side, price time match. I drew this in. I showed it to you, chap wave inside wedge target resistance line. I like sometimes to continue the line. I used to do this hand charting, and every once in a while, I look at a chart and say, I didn't even see that line. That's from like two years ago, and the line has just continued up, and here I am bumping into that line again. So when I can, I like to keep lines. And look, here it is. You get a little resistance here. We'll see what happens in the one-minute chart. This is the 10-minute chart, single leg A to the upside, gray A, because we haven't got any positives just yet. Um, so, okay, that's there. Now, what I want you to do is this. A question came in about the, the uh, SPY. And let me just see if I've got information that I can also use. Yes, that's the reason why I thought it would be good to, to do this. Um, the SPY is already in leg C, a peak C. The uh, let me do this. Uh, let me back up. We've got time. This is an extra hour that I'm doing, and I didn't put the trade on that I wanted. I was just typing and using other things with questions that came in. So that's that opportunity is gone for the moment. So let me do this in the meantime. The spider made a peak B, an all time high at 498.98 in January of 2022. January was the high of the Dow, the high of the S&P, the high of the, the Qs. Uh, no, November was the high of the Qs. So what we look at was at the SMHs. Anyway, they missed the January high. What is really important is in the Chapman Wave methodology, there's no other way I could count this new move that started on the 20th of uh, uh, the March of 2020. That's where we also went along the Dow, still along the Dow core position from that, that, that day. Um, so this peak A right here, see the G, you cannot go to an H. There's never an H. So you have to have a restart because it went to a lower low than the 2396 low of December. This is a brand new move. You had the on balance volume give a fantastic reversal. The, MAC, the stochastic then, the MACD was third. That's the order that you'd normally expect. And it ran all the way to the high of 498.98, and that was in January of 2021. Then it pulled back, and I said, if I'm correct in the Chapman Wave methodology, which I've done not 100,000 times, but uh, probably over a half a million times, notating that is, um, this should be a C and a D. I know it looks horrible, and we've had a, about a 50% decline, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to the 348.11 uh, area. But the only way that this will be overcome, in other words, the only way this peak B going to C and D, higher C and a higher D, is eliminated, is if underneath it, there's a peak A, a B, a C, and then a D, 
and then that defails underneath the 498.98 high, that the latest D is the one that takes precedence. And at that point, you could then have another huge turn down. So this is a C in the spider, but the root is the S&P, the SPX. So this is a derivative, essentially. The spider is the S&P spider fund, but the actual index is the S&P 500 index monthly. And let me just go back here. And peak C is the same pattern because there was a fractional peak A right here. That was in, was that December? Yes, December of 2022, 4100.96. And the next month was 4094.21, a lower high. So that's a peak. And then the very next month had a high of uh, 4094.23. And it became B one month later. It's a peak B because it went to a lower high and then it started to run. So this peak C, I have, based on the Chatham Wave, falling X one-to-one -one expansion, this blue line and this light green line should take me to about, not me, but the S&P cash to 47.35. 60 points, about 60 points away from the all-time high. If it goes to a leg D, that's the one that probably should accelerate higher. I don't know if we are right there because look at this monthly chart. Now let me just do it on a, um, I'll expand this so you can really see what it's a, it's a question that it's, I've been wanting to deal with and I'm taking the opportunity right now. Look, you've got your cup formation You've got your left side, right side price tie match, but you've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars to the downside to the exact low of 34.91 that was made in October of 2022. And you've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars to get to this most recent high and one bar rest. This month is in progress. So no matter what happens, this is called the peak C. But look at that little bit uh, of a dip. It's just a tiny little dip. It's not, and we made a lower low, a lower high and lower low, but not very much. And so far, we've got an inside bar. And that's just saying to me, I'm monitoring things really closely because if I'm correct, at some point, as we get into the fall, the fall is not called the fall for nothing. And the, 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 the idea of um, sell and Rosh Hashanah and buying Yom Kippur, the, the, old, the old expression, um, that hasn't worked for a long time. But in fact, it coincides with monthly chart, MACD, really quite strong. Look at the histogram, this is the vertical lines, the 0% line at 30%, that's at 30, it moved up. The Stochastic is flat at 91%. I say over 80% is great. Over 90% um, uh, is terrific. 95% is fantastic. But at that point, you've got to expect that either it's going to go flat for a long time as it did in 2017 into January of 2018 when it suddenly turned down. And even then, the nine-period moving average was green and held all the way through, even that horrible dip into the March low of 2191.86 of 2020. Um, it didn't go pink. It stayed green. Isn't this, this is the, the indicator of last resort as far as I'm concerned. Isn't that incredible? Look, the stochastic pullback, not badly, but a pullback. MACD was pulling back. Um, and then this thing holds green and it moves up. So all I can say is this is holding absolutely fabulously. In the longer term aspect, uh, let me just go to this right now. This particular chart, I think I wanted to go to the most simple one of all. I'll go to this one right here. In this particular chart, let me just go to a month. I don't know if all the notations will stay on it. I think it will. Um, this is, okay, go to the SPY. It's just easier to see. Look at that vicious turn down in the MACD. Look at the vicious turn in the stochastic from way in the 95% area down to under 20% and then back again. 
So this is your cup formation. And this cup formation says there's a really good chance that it works its way to higher highs and higher lows in this cup, rec large rectangle formation to just under, right on, or just above the previous high. Then you've got to be careful. So there's my summation. Uh, so the answer is, I'll give a summation of my answer as soon as we reach 10,000 chapter and type predictions hour. Right. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. I was just in the last uh, segment that we've got now, I've got a bunch of questions that just came in. So let me do this one at a time. So um, here's the uh, five-minute chart. It's starting to improve. It does say that the 200-period moving average of 45.28 is going to be the big strong resistance, but you've got a chap wave inside uh, wedge target repellent line at 45.25. All right, so let's just get back to our story. So how did I miss it? I said, oh, a bunch of questions came in. Let me get to them one at a time. I hope I don't miss it. Uh, here we go. Best guy, okay. CCJ, we did that, did that, did that, did that. Oh, I, I, I was going to write it down, but I didn't have time because in the break, I was, as usual, doing about three or four different things. Oh, SND. Uh, yeah, we just did SND. I did that. Next question was right here. Okay, Oracle did get to the over the 112 area. Correct. Okay, good. Uh, some issues. Chop, chop, chop. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know how much I got to go to find the questions. I missed them. Oh, I asked for them. 
I got them and now I'm, I'm this, they are. Uh, what about DBA? Okay, so the DBA is the Agricultural Fund, DBA Agricultural Fund. It actually went to a peak D, a leg D, even though the grains have been very weak. I was asked about wheat. Look at this. Leg D, very nice. We are long from the 13th, so 22.01. This is a DBA Agricultural Fund. It's acting very well. Uh, the key support right now is between 2180 and 2165. If it closes under 2160, at any point in the next week, that's a problem. And if you go to wheat, look, this is the continuous contract of wheat. This is gone underneath the left side low. Remember, I drew this in as a, as a potential target. And I said it looks really poor, and WEAT is your wheat uh, instrument. I, I'd be careful. I wouldn't be playing this on the long side at all. Not yet. I think you'll get a better one. Uh, being dead for dead, I wouldn't say dead. I think this is going below ground, and that's not good. Um, the next one was Chris. Oh, we've got the break. We're at the end. Uh, rig, rig is uh, not rigor mortis, but this is Trans Ocean doing very nicely here. These are the in the oil sector, oil service. Looks like it wants to try to get to uh, the 8.90s and even the 9 area. Looking very nice. Hey, have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out more people. I'll be back with Tom later this afternoon. And um, great programming here. Stay tuned.